didn't always like it, but I did it there. Now I want some you. Okay. Okay. Do you buy them or do you get them made, made up yourself? My man makes them. You know what? That's made out of a crochet. That one. Oh, you like that, do you? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I bought some uh, in some store somewhere. When you, when you, uh, they were put, so thick. Yeah. When so you put your mat in there, you're, you're supposed to have them. Right? Very tight, so tell you, you can get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have when you're sewn in, you have to be sure that the, this, but those ends are reinforced, mm -hmm. especially the ends because there's such mm -hmm. a strain comes out. How do you how do you uh, hook through that double layer? Oh, well, I don't hook the hem. You I don't. use the. Well, you turn it inside the hem, and yeah. then I, I you rip turn this. It. No, I rip this out again. You rip that out, and then turn it. To cut. Some of the bathrooms to okay, avoid and turn how it back much, because... How much do you... You don't start right along with that No, 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 no. No. You start a certain distance. Mm -hmm. It's not very tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose. It's not very tight. It looks a tight. Uh, uh, do you do the whole... Uh, do you do the whole frame before you start doing the... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got to reinforce the end. Yeah. Because if you don't, when you put the pressure on, mm -hmm. you're, you're take it apart. Mm -hmm. but when they stretch, when they sew it like that, mm -hmm. well, you can, but I haven't got it very straight. Just no. the same. No. I'll ask you one more question. Yeah. Do you follow? Oh, you got the, yeah. yeah. Do you, you have to follow oh, my the my glasses on. Do you, do you do every hole or do you skip a hole? Uh, well, I do every hole until yeah. it comes so tight that I can't get my needle down. Sure. I see. Mm -hmm. Then when yeah, I can't yeah. get my needle down, mm -hmm. I skip. Yeah. And then when you go this way, you do every? Yeah. Well, I go this way. I'm oh, you're left handed. Okay. And this is the stuff we do it with. Now, this is what I was telling them about today. The burlap. This is the oh, colored burlap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you now, buy it you already colored. You can buy it already colored. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you use one, stra one you, strand and another one? Yeah, I use two. Two strands. Sometimes, sometimes the third one. Mm -hmm. It's only two. How thick it is. Yeah. No, we're not. Uh, well, you, I use the tear it off. You tear it off. You can mm -hmm. scrape it there. I see, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah, there it is gone now, look. Mm -hmm. so, no, I don't want to. Okay. Now for me, yeah. So this is a yeah. pantyhose here. Mm -hmm. pant you cut those long ways or you cut them round and round? Cut some round, cut like some this. Round. Yeah. I may have cut a couple before I get some cut to it. Okay, now how do you join that? Why don't you join it? Cut that. You got to cut that. Mm -hmm. See that there? Mm -hmm. Cut it. That won't start to go around here. Yeah. That's one thing I did learn. You always have to keep your uh, your loose uh, your little ends up on top. Huh? Yeah. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I I can't see that. No. You have to roll it. You have your fingers. Is, is, uh, you mean the ones down underneath? Your fingers is constantly, yeah, constantly right work mm -hmm. in under, mm -hmm. uh, more than they are on top. Mm -hmm. Because that's what makes you work smooth and under. Yeah. You don't hold your yeah, You don't want any uh, edges. No. Do you? You've got yeah. to roll all that in, eh? Mm -hmm. And I love that. Yeah. I can sit down and stay there. But it's, it's a, a long, tiresome job, you know, mm -hmm. to be constant at it. Mm -hmm. But I spend a lot I suppose of... you've been at it since you were a child. Yes. I was seven when I done. Yeah. The first one I did, I did the border with a safety pin. Crook, the top crook down the safety pin. Yeah. And then the, my dad made a hook for me then. And I used the hook. Well, I haven't worked on a mat since. No? I suppose. Well, I, I love. Not, certainly not since I've been married. I'd That's love not. to see it coming back because mm -hmm. it is a tradition that's gone down. Yeah. It's like skin boots, it's yeah. gone. And there's only two old traditions yeah. left mm -hmm. the skin boots and mat hooking. I always got wet my fingers. I've made some uh, quilts, you know, quilting. Yeah. yeah. And that's, uh, I find it very tedious too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You have to keep one hand down on there, one hand across yeah. my head and frame it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best one to done, Tim. Mm -hmm.
but I made one each for my three daughters and figured that was enough. Mm. I'm doing a beautiful one now with a thousand pieces in. How many uh, mats can you turn out in a year? <laughs> would you say the size of this one on the wall here? Oh, well, you turn out a good many. Mm -hmm. But there's there's eighty hours. There's eighty hours in, in this? No, in the little one. The little one right here. Right here on the yeah. table. No. Over there. Yeah, that one there, one? Huh? There's eighty hours in that. I kept the hours in there. Mm -hmm. Eighty. So you don't get paid for your work. No, you don't. Hmm? It's a labor of love, eh? Eh? It's a labor of love, sir. I mean, oh, you do it for the... Oh, that's because it. Because you like doing it. Just, just because mm -hmm. you like doing it. Mm -hmm. But it's a demand for them, you know. Mm -hmm. You, you, uh, there's some people comes along that uh, you can't, you can't ask them enough that they wouldn't go to that. That's the, con that's the people oh, yes, who want it. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you use, do you always use stockings that has that seam up the back, or do you use the other kind, you know, the seam? Well, we kind? used to use them. Yeah. I used to do them for the Grinfield Mission mm -hmm. one time, mm -hmm. and they used to send them out, send it over, and uh, was uh, stockings, but they'd always cut the feet off. Yeah. But they were new stockings. Yeah. The feet was always cut off, and they, they was really good for them, really good. Yeah, it was a job. If you're doing a mat for to sell to somebody, you've got to try to have it. You know, the colors all the oh, yes. mm -hmm. Like if your sky is blue, well, yeah. but don't you got a stripe in blue? Mm -hmm. You know, I have a mat at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's big. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I bought it. Uh, 40 and, uh, in 1946, I think. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. No, 1950. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's as long as this table is wide. Yeah. And about this deep. It's the uh, adult team. Yeah. And the driver and the comedy and everything. Yeah. And uh, I paid $28 for it from the craft shop in St. Anthony. Yeah. You know? I got the five from, yeah. Yeah. from St. Anthony. Yeah. Ridiculous, huh? Yeah. 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 I used to 20, do it. Yeah. I used to do a lot for St. Anthony. $28. But them, at them times, mm -hmm. when, when winter came, you was in the house, eh? Yeah, that's true. You yeah. didn't get out because there was nowhere to go. No. But you now, there's so much going. No, I don't want to get out. But we have the roads, yeah. and yeah. there's a card game tonight, and there's bingo tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a meeting the next night, yeah. and every night you've got was on the picture doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. Is that enough for you, sir? Still, um, oh. <laughs> where is this craft done mostly? Uh, where is this, this mat hooking? Well, what, part, what part of Labrador? As, uh, Don, it does it in Red Bay. Some people in Red Bay. There's a few people all along, you know. I'm the only one who keeps an arm and does it yeah. right now. Mostly it's in the streets, though. Yeah. And I've put on courses, you know. I put on a course at Black City. I had ten people that done a six-by-six six piece, finished a six-by-six six piece. But they never don't seem like they ever bothered it again because there's something you're tied down to. It's just like yeah. family, just like a crowd of youngsters. If you're at that, you've got to stay home. You know, which if you're doing knitting or if you're doing embroidery or anything, if you're going, you can just shove it in your purse and take it with you. Yeah. But this you will have to stay home. Do it. When did you get started at this? Me, when I was about seven years old. This stuff here, this is real nice for hooking. That's a nice, uh, got a nice texture on it when you get to dawn, eh? But now you There's got... one thing I would like to know, and that's not the hooking, but this is how, when a mat, I mean, this mat that I have, this big mat, with the, with the big dog team on it, yes. uh, I mean, I had it on the wall for years, yes. and you know, it, you know how things get yes, yes. dirty from this being... Well, you can, you can put that mat on the table, yeah. and take your, your uh, suds or your Soap, hard soap. Yeah. You use hard soap or whatever, and you can take a scrubbing brush and scrub away at that mat. You don't well, we it. used to do that when yes. we were children with our floor mat. Yes, we always do. But I'm always afraid of maybe some of this dye that might let it run. Well, on well, don't this one. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. That's why that uh, before I dust, because I bought a whole frail of black wool for putting borders around the mat, 
and I hooked about four strands. And when I looked at my fingers, there was just as if I had my hands in, yeah. in dye. Yeah. So here I got yeah. this warm well, can't use it. Well, mine has a black border. Yeah. About a two inch black two inch border, border. Mm -hmm. and then there's a white one, two, yeah, two rows goes, goes yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so there is like a border. Yeah, that's the kind we always did for the yeah. yeah. So this this is a green. I just got a different different texture when you're hooking it. Tangles more. So Stella, what what are you making now? What kind of a picture or what kind of an idea you got going there? Well, this is just a border. Okay, you're, but do you know what's going to go inside there? Well, I don't know right now, but after you get the border and you decide if you're going to put a scenery, and most people want sceneries. Most people want, uh, if you draw the, I've done, I think I've done four for uh, one man in the States, he comes every year, and uh, scenery at the battery. You, you, ever, you was never up to Florida, was you? There's a, well, at that time, first when they put their old show, he come like this, eh? Mm -hmm. That's the way he was. I done four for that man on the battery. That's what we call you know you know what I'm talking about. I done four of the battery, you know. And that was wonderful to him. And there's the inside of my house is a great big hill, what they call Bogus Hill. And there's a couple little dribbles running down the side of the hill. And I done that one. Oh, gosh, it, it, he couldn't get any chance quick enough to take it. You know? Yeah. It's as a scene it goes for right? yeah. And and do you make this up as you're as you're hooking? Do you make the scene? No, up I do my border. And then when I decide what I'm going to put in, I'll get my pen and my pencil or whatever the case may be. And scenery I can do pretty yeah. good, like hills or anything like that. But when it comes to a house or a skidoo, or I got a grandson, but he can take the pen and just in seconds he got yeah. it done. So yeah, excellent who does, who does your dogs for you? Oh, I done them myself. You did them myself. Mm -hmm. That's a pattern. We've got a pattern. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the mat that I have was designed by Steve Hamilton, an artist from the States. Yeah. And his. Uh, That's where he Did you from. see his uh, paintings in, uh, in this room here where they have all the gallery? No. Here? Mm -hmm. But uh, there was one thing he could paint good scenery, but he could, he could not do dogs. No. Like dogs. No. No. But this is a tradition that I think that the, craft, the craftspeople should push I think to keep. Too. Should mm -hmm. push to keep. Mm -hmm. Pay extra money and get people yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, it's going to be gone complete. Yeah. Are the young people picking up on it at all? Uh, yes, uh, I put it on a course in school. And uh, Terry Pike there, she taught school at home one time. And, and she she done a lot of it in school, you know, got to make Kazakhs. And the boys as well as the girls made their own Kazakhs. And, mm -hmm. and girls done mat hooking, boys done mat hooking. And, People came in and showed boys how to put in snowshoes. It was all done in the school, but, but still, there's not enough, uh, not enough interest there in the school to. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they don't like to ask you that on a volunteer basis or what it is. But I really think that if there was some help to give, you know, for to get those crafts done, the people would pick them up. But that's the, that's the problem. Stella, can it, can, if I was a young person coming to you and said, now, if I take this up, can I make any money on this? Yeah, well, you can't, if you keep at it. Yeah. But to make money on it, you have to, well, say you don't want two weeks with the rest of your work, you know, you've got a, you, you a nice pile of money then, you know, it does it in two weeks. You're not going to make no, you know, you're not going to make a, a whole lot. Manda, you take, you take them, for instance, those little round ones. Well, I don't take your line to do them. You know, you, do, you can do that, in a, in a, you fill that in a day and a half. Mm -hmm. But it's more trouble after you get it done to get it hemmed than yeah. it was to do. Okay, let me ask you one question here. Say you're going to make one like this. Would you put your, uh, your burlap in a square like that? You have. Yeah, and, and you have to. around it. Yeah, yeah I see. and you draw with your circle. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to finish, you've got to cut it out so far mm -hmm. around. Yeah. And you know how, how burlap reeves, mm -hmm. you know? you you got a job to get him around before it's mm -hmm. gone. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Getting that sewed in to make it so it don't Yeah. yeah. But we used to do basket. I might do one, perhaps, if I, if I live till next winter. 
I said, I might do one of them. They said, next minute, we used to do, they used to do bags for the hospital. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Do bags uh -huh. and do the, ha and hook the handles. And then you have to do the handles over.